Uh, well, let's bring up Ukraine. Have a look at this. The mark is coming up. These are reported blasts, rockets and missiles pretty much everywhere, as you can see. Moscow says it's destroyed more than 70 military targets, including 11 airfields. Russia looking to gain total air superiority to pin Ukrainian forces down. Next came the land invasion, Russian troops and tanks invading from the north, the east and right up from the south. Many heading to the capital Kyiv, where it's likely there'll be fierce fighting as Russia seeks to remove Ukraine's government. Over in the east, the heaviest ground fighting reported so far, it's thought Russia's trying to cut off Ukraine's best trained, best equipped troops. Pulling out a little now to see where the West stands as more US troops head into these NATO nations, that neighbour Russia, its bestie Belarus and Ukraine. America's president restating that Western forces will not go into Ukraine. The risk of direct clashes with nuclear armed Russia simply too great. Well, world leaders were quick to respond to Russia's advances overnight, but already there's concern their actions won't be enough. Sanctions have been threatened for weeks and words traded over late night meetings at the United Nations, but none of it has stopped President Putin. We'll speak to our US correspondent Anna Burns Francis in a moment. First though, here's her report.